stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... There are many reasons that I find Planet Planetoid Dwarf Planet Asteroid number 1 Ceres a fascinating subject. One that I have not mentioned before is its alignment with Vesta, with Mars, and with Earth. Maybe alignments mean nothing. Maybe planets aren't like a giant cosmic clock. So maybe it's just a cool coincidence. Well, we agree that cool coincidences are cool coincidences. So then, even if that's all it is, then, hey, it's still that. But I have been pulling down the Ceres Vesta alignments from stereo for a while. I don't think I got them all in complete proper order. But I do think it's really cool that they're almost in a straight line. And they have been traveling together like a swinging gate for a while. So include that with the fact that professional science has not taken a picture of it with a good camera since 2004. And the fact that it has more fresh water than Earth. It's in our inner solar system. It has an atmosphere. And it probably has life. That make it a truly fascinating subject to me. And often people say, well, the dawn mission is going to get there at the end of 2015. So you're making a fuss about nothing. So if I don't pay my taxes and the IRS contacts me, says, why haven't you paid your taxes? And I said, well, here's my plan. I'm not planning on paying my taxes for 11 years, but then I plan on paying 30 years worth of taxes. Okay, so get off my ass, IRS. You know, like, what if the Dawn camera breaks? We've had the SDO Eve break lately. The two stereo sun cameras are malfunctioning. We had the deep impact epoxy go offline during icing. You know, this, that's a lot of cameras you lose in one year, man. You know, they're not toys. So, uh, you know, this idea of like, hey, you know, shut up. We're going to take a lot of photographs of it over a year from now. And no other situation other than pro side, you really get away with that. You know, and I, I don't know if you've been reading the uh, reports coming out of pro side in the last year, but I keep reading all these reports that say, with the exact same cameras that they've had forever, scientists have figured out new ways to discover new shit, or to new ways to do what they were doing much better. Okay, great, then if that's true, show us with Sarah has. You know, it's one thing to show us with articles on exoplanets 300 million light years away is another thing to show us on a planet in our inner solar system. And people are like, well, that's the thing. Is the Hubble focuses on galaxies that are a trillion million light years away, man. It is not meant to focus on Ison or focus on Ceres or focus on something that might have actual value in your daily life. But hey, you know, that's just how the world is now. We're people with just opinions can shout down those who have facts or good questions. Anyway, I hope your 4th of July weekend was better than mine. You know, hey, if every other YouTuber and astronomer out there has been pulling Ceres, Vesta, Mars, Earth alignments for a year, and they've already put them up so they can show you, then I apologize for being second or third or fourth. I'm pretty sure I'm first. Anyway, peace out. God bless everyone.